Good morning. Good morning from Melbourne, Australia. Good evening to friends in North America and hello to anyone watching on replay. My name is Nancy Hepker and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne, Australia, where we have just had, about 45 minutes ago, what they're saying is a magnitude 6.0 earthquake. So, um, Fortunately, I knew exactly what I wanted to do today, and I was really, really organized, uh, but I did <laughs> kind of lose 45 minutes of what I was going to do to um, prepare for this today. So, I'm, um, we're going to do this, and it's going to be fine. Um, we are all fine. There's no damage where I am. There are parts of the Melbourne area that do have a little bit of structural damage, um, but we haven't had any reports of, of injuries or anything like that. We'll see. It was, um, they said the epicenter was a couple hundred kilometers north east of where we are, um, but it was very, very shallow. So there's, it was felt over a wide part of Southeast Australia. Um, and apparently that's very unusual for Melbourne to actually feel earthquakes um, but it was it was a crazy thing here on the on the 18th floor um, definitely a lot of building swaying happening and moving up and down and stuff so anyhow let's get on with our card because that's much more fun than rehashing an earthquake okay so today what I'm going to do is um, show you a card that I saw on a video by Julie Davison, who's a big Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And um, I, it's so simple and so fun. I thought it would be a great one to share, make sure you guys knew about um, because it's going to be good for... Um, it's good for anything. Um, it's great if you have a gift card or, or money that you want to give, but you don't have to. You can just use it as a card, and I've done several versions, and we're going to do another one. Um, so this is the card. It uses a strip of designer series paper uh, that you fold into thirds, and then you do a little insert, and you can slip a gift card in behind there or some money or you can even attach it to the back of this layer and it is mounted on a piece of, of cardstock and you can decorate it however you want. So there's one that I did with the Peaceful Prints uh, designer series paper that is part of Celebration this year. Um, and you can see, you, can, it, you have to have a piece of designer series paper where the two sides work together. Every once in a while, Stampin' Up! comes up with a combination that I don't think works well to mix and match, um, but there's plenty of them that do. So there's one that's Christmassy. Here's one that's more of a masculine birthday. Um, and this is using In Good Taste designer series paper. And with a birthday sentiment on the inside there. It says, you do a great job of being a great guy. And then I did two of these. Uh, this is using the Expressions in Ink designer series paper, and they're, they're a little bit different on the front decoration. Um, but then inside, they both have that. So, um, do not fret about getting measurements down for this because I have, I told you I was organized, right? Up until 45 minutes ago. Um, because I do actually have a printout that will, I will have links on the video and in the blog post that have both centimeters and inches. Um, Julie did hers in inches and I translated it to centimeters because it's really, really, really simple. And I will show you that right now. So I've got um, the measurements and then some really simple kind of reminders. This is what you want to do to make this card if you've watched the video. Um, so I am going to use a piece of this Penguin Playground designer series paper. Um, which is really, really fun. I wasn't going to get anything with the penguins. And then um, when I placed my last order, I did 
I did get <laughs> actually the whole suite and this, this paper from Celebration as my reward. Um, and I, I just, I love that it's very fun. Um, and I don't think it has to be Christmas. I think it's good for anyone who's got a winter birthday, which is great because here winter and Christmas do not go together. Um, but if you're in a place where you're using inches, you're going to um, cut four inches. Here I'm using centimeters, so I'm going to do 10 centimeters. And I would now be finished if I were in, with cutting the designer series paper, if I were in North America. But um, here we are going to use um, 30 centimeters and this is 30 and a half centimeters. So I am just going to cut off half a centimeter. There we go. And then you score it. And here with, again, the centimeters we are doing, um, you know what, I did that wrong. I, so I was doing it, I, was, I knew I was doing it wrong. Sorry, I should just use my cheat sheet. No, that was right. No, I've got my cheat sheet wrong. That's the problem. Okay, 14.4, that makes much more sense. by four and then we score at 10 now what I found after I did my first one is that I say score at 10 or at 4 and 8 but I found if I keep it a hair shy of that it actually folds better it just gives a little that little bit of slush room so you probably, I know you can't see it because it's off the camera. Um, but I am just a hair shy of that 10 centimeter mark. Okay. And we're scoring, not cutting. You still couldn't see that, could you? Oh my goodness. And I could come out here and do it at 20, but I know it's the same as the 10, so I just turn it around. It's easier than trying to make space for my for my arm to come out. But that's just because of how I got my craft space set up. So again, just a hair shy of the 10 centimeter mark or the four centimeter mark or four inch mark if you're in North America. Okay, so. How did I think I wanted to do this? I think actually this is going to fold in. Wow, I'm having a day. Mm -hmm. Apparently I was just a little more freaked out than I thought by that. Or at least it discombobulated me. For those of you who are late joining me, we did uh, just under an hour ago have a magnitude 6 earthquake here in Melbourne and I thought I was all hunky-dory but apparently it freaked me out a little bit okay so ten And 10. Let's see if I finally have that right. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, so that's gonna be the inside. This is gonna be the outside. So what we do is we take the top inside corner to the bottom outside corner and we line them up on the cutting track and we slice it off. So you're going to have that, that scrap for another project and then you've got your pocket. So move that aside for a moment. I'm going to bring in, you can use glue or tear and tape. Not quite sure why I go for the tear and tape here, but it's quick and not messy and I can get it right up to that edge. And then just smooth that over. Okay, so there's my pocket. And I'm gonna bring in some Misty Moonlight cardstock and my trimmer again and this is just a quarter sheet of cardstock whichever dimensions whichever whether you're using letter or a4 it's just a quarter sheet so and that is going to wind up on there and I am going to go ahead and cut um, the rectangles for, this is for the insert inside, and is for the front. So, that aside again. Bring these back in. Okay, so this just simply gets glued to the base like so and then it's a matter of stamping and decorating now I think the easiest thing to do is to use the largest and the second largest stitch so sweetly dies you can also use like here I use the stitched rectangles um, but the um, the direction sheet is just going to have using the stitch so sweetly, but you can, you can change it up and you can just freehand cut or cut on your trimmer, all of them. So now to figure out how to decorate and stamp and such. So let's see what I've got. I don't think I have anything pre-cut. Nope. Lots of scraps. So this sheet has been one of my go-tos for images because they are so cute. Um, so I'm going to snip off. Some bits and bobs. And where's my punch? So this has a coordinating punch. It coordinates with the stamp set, but it also coordinates with that cute penguin. So I can just stick that in my punch.
punch it out. And then the fox and the polar bear, you have to, to fussy cut, but they're pretty simple to do. So we're just gonna take care of that. So I thought the big drama here this week was all the construction workers who decided to, well, construction has been shut down for to, to have a COVID safe reset because they found a lot of construction sites were not following COVID safe procedures and they were getting growing numbers of COVID cases um, spreading through construction sites. So last Friday, they had their tea rooms, their lunch rooms shut down, and they took their tables and chairs out into the streets, especially including in front of our house and blocked traffic and such to make a point. And um, they've also been told that it's mandatory for them to get vaccinated and a number of people decided to take advantage of that to do violent protests on Monday and Tuesday and now it's Wednesday and they're supposed to be doing that again is the the word on the street so we'll see if they actually come out and do that but it's it's been exciting here because the they've been protesting starting their protests at the union headquarters, which is a block and a half from my house. So we've had, you know, the riot squad and mounted police and yeah, we're staying home. <laughs> okay, so let me find what I wanna put on here. One of the things I was going to pull out before I was dealing with an earthquake. There we go. Here's the stamp set. Um, oh, it goes down there. And I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, these sentiments are a little bit small for here. So I think I'm going to pull in something else. These may be too big. Yeah. Okay. Bear with me. I'll come up with something. May also, let's see here. That may work. Okay, let's try it. I'm bringing in my mat because this is a photopolymer stamp and it is has no cushioning and it's really bold, so it's gonna benefit from having that cushioning under there. If it's just a small line ink, clear stamp, like like that, I don't bother. But this one, this one will need it.
just changed my mind about which color ink. This is Fresh Freesia. It's one of the colors in the paper. So there's Hello. Light. Hello, friend. So American of me. What's American of me? I can't remember what you were referring to, Roseanne. Some dimensionals. Oh, the vaccine protests. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And of course, there's all kinds of talk about how some of the people who are protesting are actually construction workers, but that many of them are. Um, you know, libertarian anti-vaxxers who are taking advantage of the situation to go out and make mischief. Or what they call here, professional protesters <laughs> who are just looking for any reason to go out and confront the police. So, yeah. It's a whole thing here. Okay, so there's that one. Hello, friend. That's going to go on the front. figure out what to put on the inside. I think this is going to be too... Oh, no, it's not. Cool. So we'll just do... Another one of these, why not? Just trying to get a lot of ink on here so I get a nice impression. Nikki, I'm so glad you joined us today. And Renata, I saw you. And Paula. There we go. And of course, Gladys. And Roseanne, how's your mom there in Philly? my thumb in my ink pad.
glue this one on to its backing. So there's Hello Friend and Happy Birthday. I'm uh, just reading Roseanne's update here. Cool. Glad you were able to get there and help her. Help both of them. They have a little glue somewhere here. Okay, should we make another one? Now that I seem to have my act together? What do you think? You want another one? Or should we call it quits? It's, we got a little time. Why not? So, uh, let's do another one with the Peaceful Prince. Sorry, did I walk out of range for that? This is Peaceful Prince. So those are all my scraps. So I need a full sheet, or at least one that goes full width. That could be a good one. Any of these would be would be good. Because they this is the one that I did use, see? Because the print goes with each other. So they're good. I think we're gonna do this one. Okay. So, cutting correctly this time, we're gonna do 14.4 or five and a quarter for those of you in North America. And then take off half a centimeter here to make it 30. And then we're going to score it just shy of 10. Turn it around and score it just shy of 10 again. so that it is like so. And now we're gonna trim inside top to outside bottom. So sometimes it can be a little hard to see where that score mark is. There we go. So that's how that's gonna go. I think we're going to get some black to back this one. So, again, quarter of a sheet for the backing. I love how quick and easy these are to come together. for the backing and then that's for the inside Side. 
and I'm just going to go run stitch so sweetly the biggest and the second biggest dies I'll be right back There we go. And let's see here. Start once again. I'll show you with the glue this time. Just put a really couple of dots along the bottom. Yeah, that's why I don't usually like the glue. Because it oozes out. helicopter the air ambulance and the police use the same model helicopter so I can't tell just from the sound which one it is but it would be about the time that I would think the demonstrators were gathering down the street so we'll see what the helicopter does okay so this one I am going to do holiday and I have um this tidings and trimming set out and mounted up because I've been working on my product playground class series and that will fit on there I knew that because I used it on this one um, But I think what I'm going to do, let me see if I've got one in my smaller scraps. This is how I keep my, yeah, nope. I keep my 12 by 12 sheets in um, hanging folders and then my small scraps go in these little manila envelopes. So I think what I'm going to do is fussy cut out a deer. These coordinate with a punch, but I did not buy the Peaceful Deer bundle. I got this paper because, except for this page, it's not particularly deer themed. Um, and I knew I could just trim out any of these that I actually wanted to use. So. We will do that right now. Where, what are you guys up to? I, I know Paula went and joined a bunch of our friends in upstate New York over last weekend. I was very jealous. They look beautiful. 
glad you guys had a lot of fun, did some hiking, saw waterfalls, lake. So Saturday, yeah. one of my cards held Amy's thank you gift. I thought Joyce was making a card, a thank you card. Sorry, lost my train of thought there. Um, so for those of you who didn't know, Noah goes in for formal training on Saturday morning. So we will be saying goodbye to him. It's been just under a year since he came to us. He came, what, the first weekend of October last year. So Glenn is not happy. I wouldn't say I'm happy, but it's it'll be good for him to see what he wants to do. The trainer had him last Friday for a few hours, and she said he's doing really, really well. He just has to decide that he wants to, to live in the working world and not his own world, because he does get distracted sometimes. Not by other dogs so much. He, let, he says hello or pays attention to him and then lets him go but he um <laughs> he has a harder time <laughs> disengaging from smelling plants and bushes <laughs> oh my goodness so maybe if he gets some time to just romp around the park off lead for a while he'll he'll settle himself down i think we're gonna stamp in red bring my mat back in again it's a photopolymer stamp I'm trying to put that there I just want to red 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 yeah Yep, I think red. I'm trying to decide between red and black. And I like the red. So this is real red, which matches the designer series paper. Oh, I think I went a little crooked. Let's see. Ah, it'll do. This one in now. This one got all those little narrow bits. Close up the stamp set. Oh look! Yes, that's right. These are the mini dimensionals. And where are my scissors? Where are my little snips? I'm going insane. So yes, I am cutting some of these mini dimensionals in half. Try to get them on these little skinny legs.
Okay. It would be easier to just glue this flat, but I don't want to. Whoops. Oh, I don't know why I'm going to need that still. So, on Friday, it is the grand, the Grand final public holiday. It is the Australian Rules football. Grand final is on Saturday. And it is a very Victorian sport. It started here for most of its life. It was known as Victoria Rules football. Um, but it's Australian rules football now. But because we're in lockdown for the second year in a row, the grand final, which is like the Super Bowl, is being played in a different place this year. It's Perth in Western Australia, which is really getting the goat of Victorians, but whatever. And but Friday, usually there's a grand final parade. It's a big deal on Friday. So this year we have a public holiday, but no parade. <laughs> and you can't go to the footy on Saturday. But we have ordered our grand final footy, footy grand final feast from a local A local bar. It'll get delivered Saturday evening and we will watch the footy on our TV. It says wishing you a joyful Christmas and happy new year. So Glenn started watching Victoria Rules football back in the early early 80s when ESPN was just starting out Apparently the overseas rights to this weird <laughs> Australian sport were really cheap <laughs> and they had a lot of hours to fill on ESPN. So they, um, yes, it's like the Super Bowl. And um, so he, he got into it long before he ever came to Australia or thought about coming to Australia. So there's that one, that's a Christmas themed one. clean up this space just a little bit and I'll put all these out here for you to see. So there are two Christmas ones featuring peaceful prints. Again, that is designer series paper that is free with a minimum purchase of $90 here in Australia. Um, and here's one with penguin playful. Hmm. Penguin Playground, that's another free designer series paper. And that's a birthday card. This is a more masculine birthday card. That's in good taste. And then these are a couple more birthday cards um, using the art, what, Expressions in Ink designer series paper and the Artistically Inked bundle. So. That's what I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. I think I'm calm now. So um, yes, if you see stuff about earthquake in Melbourne, you know we're just fine. No damage, no cracks in our building. I was pretty impressed by that. At least no cracks in our apartment that I've seen. Um, yeah.
So thanks for joining me. I will be back again same time, same place next week. Remember, if you want to get something from Celebration, this is really about the last week to do it. At the end of September, it is finished, done, gone. So uh, don't miss out. If I can help you at all, just let me know, nancy at nancysniftynotes.com. And like I said, I will <laughs> correct the measurements on here and have this up uh, on my on my blog and linked in my the description notes on the video um, so that you can know how to make this. So thanks for joining me. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.